Welcome back to Tiny Grimes Games, and I'm here with another Star Wars Destiny video. And today, I'm going to do a playthrough of another game. Uh, I'm joined by Rick from the Knights of Ren. So we should have a pretty high-level game uh, for being this new, <laughs> for a game this new. And before we get started, I want to talk real quick about uh, the different decks that we're running. So I have a Kylo Ren Jango Fett deck. Uh, so essentially, what my goal here is going to be is to... Put a whole bunch of stuff on Django Fett, be able to use his ability to activate him after my opponent activates their character, be able to roll the dice out, and give uh, Django a, a chance to resolve his massive amount of damage before my opponent can disrupt them. If I'm able to pull this off, I should be able to either one-shot characters or at least put on piles of damage very quickly. Uh, and I'm using Kylo Ren. Sort of as a, uh, I guess I'm using Kylo Ren. I wanted a character with a second die. I really wanted a blue character to be able to abuse the holocron to really get Django set up quickly. Uh, and so Kylo Ren is that choice. That may change dramatically as more cards come out. Um, Kylo Ren's special is sort of hit or miss. If you've played Kylo Ren much, you know uh, it can be amazing. If you play against a Finn Poe lineup, uh, like the video I just put out where they have Falcons and TIE Fighters in their hand. Oh, he's amazing. If they have all zero-cost events, well, I think you can figure out he's not that great. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our opponent, Rick's list. Uh, looks like he's got Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon, I haven't played against Qui-Gon much, but he's got a lot of survivability. His dice have shields on them, and this survivability actually translates to damage because when he gains shields... He can actually remove shields to do damage to characters. So he's this frustrating guy of being able to gain survivability or damage, sort of depending on what you need. And that is amazing. Flexibility is the name of this game. And then he's got Ray in there because, well, Ray's awesome. Costs very little. This allows him to have the the pinnacle, the four dice start. And I imagine Rick, uh, knowing him like I do, he'll want to do a couple fancy cutesy upgrades where he'll upgrade Ray. He'll overwrite that upgrade to get another free action. And really try to abuse that ability. Uh, let's take a look at our battlegrounds. It looks like we both have Salvage Yard. Choose a supporter upgrade in your discard pile. Place it on top of your deck. This makes a lot of sense with my deck. Uh, I have a lot of upgrades in the deck. I want to put a lot of stuff on Django. I want to have Holocron if something happens. Uh, and they get pulled out of my hand. I want to bring them back. I want to be able to discard them to do re-rolls. Knowing they're coming back. Opponent. He's got the same thing. We all know he loves Ray. He's probably going to do cutesy stuff like Comlink on Ray, overwrite the Comlink, be able to play it for free because it was an overwrite, go get his Comlink back from the discard pile with his salvage yard, and loop and loop and loop and have a lot of fun. So, Rick, good luck, my friend, and uh, let's get this party started. All right, so we're going to roll our four dice, each of us with four dice. Normally when you have four dice, you know you have a really good chance of getting to choose the battleground, which is a really important part of a strategy, right? It's like, okay, if I have a lot of dice, I know my strategy will be enacted. Um, I got slaughtered, though. Uh, Kylo rolled two specials, which could be amazing. Not amazing when you're trying to get the battleground. So, Rick, which battleground would you like to choose today? So we're going to choose your battleground. Yeah, so I, get to I choose. was going to say that. So... If there's two battlegrounds that are the same, it's very, very rare when going first on the first turn is that important. Now, it can be really important in later turns. Uh, getting two shields is just amazing, though. And notice, he's put them on uh, Qui-Gon. So when he gets more shields on Qui-Gon, he's never going to have to worry about going over three. Because if it looks like he's going over three, he just says, oh, okay, I'll remove a shield, ping that guy, and then put a shield on. So he can just... Shield Qui-Gon till the cows come home, as the saying goes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw up um, our hand. And actually, we should have drawn first, so that's my mistake. Oh, we have to kill it here. All right, here we go. Drawing. Boom, boom. Three, four, five. Um, okay, so we've got some cards that we like here. A lot of good upgrades, lots of other stuff. Um, but we don't have a Holocron, and uh, the name of this deck is, if you can get a Holocron, it's going to be really good. This card is actually really good as well, and we're going to keep that one. Alright. We're going to get rid of a lot of stuff here, though. Alright, put them all back. Boink. And 
hope for a holocron. I actually played two straight games where I never saw a holocron ever. It was always the bottom three cards, two of them were holocrons. So it can happen that you just never get one. Okay, and uh, we're going to grab our two resources to start the game. And since uh, my battleground was chosen, I will either get to go first or have to go first, as the case may be. Uh, so I'll go ahead and play... Hmm, this card is really good on the first turn, but I'm still going to play this card. This card seems like a really good counter uh, to what Rick's trying to do. Being able to just strip off whatever his best melee die is, is great. Um, and since when he rolls his dice, if he rolls a good melee roll, I can just immediately trigger Django for free. And then if I hit um, the special on the jetpack, to strip off his die. So we'll see where, where we end up going with this. Oh, BB-8. Such a great turn one first play. You've got the potential for more resources. He has such a strong die. Um, you're always happy to see that. I'm out of resources, so my options are incredibly limited now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll Django, actually. This might sound strange, but on the first turn, I'm not as excited about using his free action. That actually runs me out of actions pretty quick. Uh, this gives me a little flexibility that now, if he rolls a melee, um, I can re-roll this jetpack and try to strip it off. And we got um, one melee, one range, so that's fine. Okay, and he got his shield. Oh, boy. <laughs> The shield damage is going to be coming. We're going to roll Kylo here now because I'm going to want to re-roll that jetpack for sure. Uh, and let's see if there's other dice we want to re-roll. And clearly there is. We're going to be re-rolling the blank. Will we re-roll the shield? I don't know. It's one of the really fun things about this game is a shield's fine. Um, so do I really want to try to re-roll it for something else? I don't have any resources. Um, if I re-roll this two damage that needs a resource, that would be kind of a problem. The blank would be bad. Ah, yes, we should probably exhaust our guys. Alright, so who is Rick going to roll? Or is I'm going to go ahead and spend the shield. Okay. Put it on Qui-Gon, deal one damage to uh, Django. Okay. So instead of taking the shield, you're going to... Yeah, they're going to rotate. Okay. Okay, so he's going to spend the shield that's already on him, the damage, and then put a new one on. Right. Okay, uh, so Django's already got a damage. Ooh, that's not good. So we'll go ahead and discard a card. We want to discard. I think dodge is going to be fairly useless in this game. Uh, we'll discard dodge to re-roll. I think we're just going to re-roll the two blanks and not get too super greedy here right away. That seems reasonable. <laughs> okay, that jetpack is adamant that it wants to be a blank. I notice I have a bunch of dice out here. Normally you wouldn't do that. You would keep it in your bag, keep it hidden from your opponent, but um, on this program it becomes a bit cumbersome to continually going in and out of the bag. But don't give your opponent free information. That's just foolish. Okay, a resource and a melee. Nothing too scary. To be honest, um, neither of these characters' sides are that scary. It's more going to be um, the upgrades, Qui-Gon's continual damage that he's pushing out with the shields. Those are the real scary aspects. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead and dump... Hmm. Boy, these are all good cards. We're going to dump force training. Uh, I'm going to re-roll these three. I'm going to get a little bit greedy and re-roll one of these shields. Might be foolish. Okay. That worked out okay. We, we turned uh, <clears throat> that melee into a blank, but we did pick up more damage. We picked up a special. It puts a lot of pressure on Rick that if he has a really high um, value card, like a mine probe or something, 
does he really want to risk taking four damage or does he just want to discard it now to re-roll a die um that's that's one of the problems with this special is that it's so easy to play around they can just re-roll a die at any point by discarding it or playing a card uh, so we'll see what he decides to do here So I'm going to spend one resource. I'm going to play uh, Use of Force. Okay. I'm actually going to change Django's one blaster. Okay. To the, to blank. the blank. Yep. That seems like a good idea. So if you're newer to the game and you don't know this, um, this plus three range looks great. But if you don't have a regular range to tack it onto, you can't play it. So since I don't have any ranged di dice, it's just a blank basically right now. We have two more cards for rerolls, so there's a decent chance we'll do something like that. But let's go ahead and, and roll the dice, as you will, as they say, with uh, with Jane, with uh, Kylo. We'll pull, pull a hand from Rick, pull a card from Rick's hand. Hope it's something great. Oh, it was. It was a force throw. Uh, we're gonna do the damage to Ray. So the theory here is both of these guys have two dice. Qui Gon is going to be very hard to kill because he's going to be cycling shields on him. Um, and so because of that, I'm going to try to go for Rey. So maybe a mistake. It may just be better to go for a Qui-Gon, strip all the shields away from him so he has a harder time building them up and thus doing the damage. Um, but being able to put a quick three on Rey seems pretty good. If we can get him down to one character, the start of turn two will be in good shape. And I did that wrong. I should have declared the character before I did the ability. But I would have declared Ray. Alright, let's see what he gets here. Mm, okay, so... Not too scary. Uh, he does get two resources, which is, is a little bit scary. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and discard, I think, to reroll. Um, now that I got such terrible dice. <laughs> uh, I think I'm fine with Kylo's shield. I'll just re-roll these two and just pray that one or both of them is arranged. And this is the inherent problem with Django, is he has this sort of what feels like a random melee side. And so I rolled the melee side, and that's great, it's damage, but it doesn't combo well with the plus three. And uh, so now it's only one damage instead of four. So I'm going to have a tough decision. Do I want to, to re-roll again to try to get... Uh, a range or just be happy without it. It's only a one and three plus a plus a one and three. So we'll see. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and play close quarters assault. Okay. Uh it's four two, but since you only got the one card left, at least it keeps you from being able to reroll. Yeah, so it's an interesting play that Rick just made. Um he was willing to empty my hand. He could have used this at any moment, right? He could have tried to hit three later, four later, five later, but he saw that Ray's looking a little vulnerable. If I re-roll these and I get, say, a two and a one, that's uh, three plus three more is six, like Ray's practically dead. Whereas this way, I'm completely neutered. So he just basically ruined my whole turn with one play. So I think that was a really good play. I'll go ahead and melee um, Ray. We'll melee uh, uh, Django for okay. two. For how many? Two? Uh, one and Qui Gon as well. Okay. So he's got three total now. Um, I'll go ahead and shield Django. Try to keep him alive a little bit longer. Whoa, not, not damage. <laughs> I'll take that. We'll shield him. Uh, we'll spend for the two resources. Um, so, I knew I was going to be able to get the Battleground, which is the one positive in all of this, because I do have several upgrades in here that I would like to have back. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and put... It's a tough choice between Jetpack, which can really vault um, Django up, but as we saw, sometimes you get kind of screwed because of that melee, or something like a Mobilize. I'm going to put a Mobilize on top because it is so strong for keeping someone like Django alive. I found that shields can be uh, incredibly frustrating for your opponent. 
Okay, so do you have any more actions? Nope. All right, so Rick's ending the turn with two. I am ending the turn with two dice sitting out there like a chump. Uh, we're going to draw up, and hopefully I'll hit some stuff here. Holocron wouldn't be bad. Okay. So I'm going to be first. I'm going to clean my two resources here. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and first play will be to play the dreaded holocron. And I think Rick is probably now saying, hmm, I'd kind of like that close quarters back to maybe be able to deal with holocron. It's not a great way to deal with it, but it's a way. But I think I still think he made the right call. He saved a lot of damage on Ray. So... So I'm just going to roll a uh, uh, maybe eight. Okay. Basically what I'm doing is just delaying Django's reaction <laughs> as long as possible. So I think that's interesting because if you delay his reaction, it gives me a chance to load more onto him before I get to do his reaction. So I don't, I don't know if I agree with that, that mindset, but it's, it's, it's an interesting back and forth cat and mouse game that we're playing where we're both thinking about how are we going to do Django, but he really forced my hand here by, by rolling that Disrupt, which is probably not the side he most wanted to see. It makes me make a decision, and I am going to make a decision, and I am going to go ahead and play a Blaster on him now while I have that opportunity. I don't think I should that here. Okay, so now Django is kind of loaded up here. Like, when he finally does exhaust a character, instead of getting the three that I could have gotten, I now get four dice, so... He's pretty scary. He could easily one-shot Ray um, if he rolls even decent. He doesn't even have to roll great. He just has to roll decent. So Rick's in a so tough you guys, spot. You, you have the uh, ambush from the holdout buster. Oh, I do. Um, Let me see if I want to trigger it. I want to trigger ambush. Hmm. So this is a really interesting aspect of the game. Like Getting free actions is great. But as we saw last time, I ran out first, which was fine because I got the battleground. But you don't want to run out way before your opponent and give them just endless actions to wreck you with. Um, but I am going to do it because I want to see if I roll the special on the holocron to see if I should be activating Django sooner or later. And I did roll the special on the holocron, so we'll, we'll have to think about what we want to do. And the reason that's tricky is because I can activate the holocron put a card into play, and then put it on Django and try to roll it off of Django. And even if I don't hit it special, I can still get a resource. I could get a really valuable spin. Um, and so I'll have a real tough decision point as to what I do with that. So just a quick thing, you'd have to put it back. You'd have to swap it back to uh, Kylo, though. Yes, it would, it would go. How it would work is I would put the Holocron back in hand. I would oh, put gotcha, the gotcha. effect on Kylo. What I'm saying is, then when I redeploy it, I need to figure out if I want to if I want to try to get it a roll this turn or not. That's yeah, I got you. I follow you. So I don't think I can delay any longer. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna just spend these four resources. Whoa, that's scary. Oh no, that was really bad for me. <laughs> that was really bad for me. So. What just happened here is one with the force is an amazing upgrade, uh, but now he's going to be able to roll Ray, and if I one shot Ray, he still gets to use one with the force permanently. Um, it's such a smart play to wait until somebody has taken a lot of damage and then put one with the force out because now I really just want to kill Qui Gon because killing Ray doesn't add as much. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. Probably still have to go for Ray. All right, so he took the free action that he gets. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trigger um, Django off of his activation. Let's we'll see if we can just kill Ray and one-shot her. We need six, which is highly reasonable with the dice that I have. Woo! <laughs> Did not roll very well. <laughs> That's okay. Flexibility is the name of the game. We still get another action here. Um, I think the action will be to 
special and pull off. Ah, no, never mind, not the special. Boy, what is the action going to be? That's that is a real tough one. There's no resources anymore. Um, I think the action will be to... <laughs> huh. It's such a slow turn now. Maybe that's fine, though. Maybe slow is okay. Let's go ahead and... Grab... <laughs> Ah, oh, boy, I'm really stuck here. Let's let's do the special from Kylo, targeting Ray, and I'll grab this one. Woo! No. <laughs> oh man, I'm not looking where you're putting it. By the way, I'm turning my head away. So that was three damage. Yeah. At seven. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and use the two shield. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to put both of them on the ray. Okay. I thought you might do that. All right. So Ray's back to five health, basically. That's not so bad. Um, let's see. We're going to save this melee to see if. Basically, his two plus twos look scary, but they're not scary. They don't do anything. Um, so we're going to wait to see if um, he rolls melee with Qui-Gon, and we just strip that one away and make him re-roll. So we're going to save this as this threat, this threat that is always looming for him. Oh, is he going to do that? Is he not going to do that? I'm going to go ahead and resolve Django's dice for two resources. This seems pretty bad um, because we could have gone for the kill on Ray. But this looks like a slow game to me. Neither Ray nor Qui-Gon are that effective at actually killing me. So I feel like I can build a little bit more and maybe one-shot Ray next turn. And so since you did that, I'm going to spend the Disrupt. Yep. Take That's one of those So obviously I didn't have a plan that needed two resources or that would have been really foolish. But... If I did, Ray has just uh, Rick has just disrupted it, which is which would be very smart. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll trigger the holocron. Holocron goes back to hand. We'll throw this out and we'll use the resource um, to be able to put its die out right now. It's not super critical, um, but like I talked about before, I really want to keep Django alive. He's kind of the whole premise of this deck. And if I can stick a bunch more shields out, wait, do I roll it right now? How does that work? I yeah. Do. To roll it into play. Yes, so let's go ahead and roll it right now. Vroom. Let's see what we get. See? Just what I wanted. A blank. <laughs> That's alright. I'm going to... a big melee too so we'll go ahead and activate the jetpack uh, remove his two melee and get a shield so that's pretty sweet Django staying even healthier and I'll pitch this extra BB-8 all right yeah we figured he was gonna have to reroll at that point so that's what I really love about this game is that nothing is finite everything is sort of in flux uh, okay, so since he played that, that's really scary to be facing down, uh, sorry, this one, a random discard when you have a holocron in hand. So that really forces our hand. We're just going to throw the holocron actually back onto Kylo. I tend to move it around, but there's really not that much point moving it around if um, you can't uh, activate the guy anyway. And a force power is not really what my dream scenario is with Django. I really just want to put all range damage on him and just... Just roll one shots. That, that's really our goal with him. So he Rick is trying to decide 
Do I just pull one of these two cards out of hand? Do I just re-roll these dice? Like, what am I going to gain from one random card being pulled out of his hand when he draws up to five? That's a really fascinating element of this game. Yeah, the big thing that's really pushing my decisions right now is the immobilize action. So even if I were to re-roll right now, you can, even though your mobilize is on a blank, you can just use that action to change. Like if I were to roll a modified die on Ray and a, or two modified dies, you can just pull that die out right. really easily. So yeah. let's just go ahead and do the discard. All right. Be gentle with your pull, sir. All right. Take cover. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Jango's not so sad. Um, I will go ahead and resolve. Let's see, you have two dice left. Yeah, I'll resolve Kylo's die and shield up Django again. I thought you had the shields going, man. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> That's right, we still have this one out there. You can go ahead and discard the block. Okay. Just to re-roll uh, Ray's dice. Sure. Oh, that was... Things changed a lot. We're going to go ahead and play Immobilize to turn um, Qui-Gon to a blank. So, basically, instead of getting plus two now, he gets, you know, zero. We By turning this one to a blank, we basically made them both blank. Uh, then I'll go ahead and... Resolve this blaster to do one damage to Ray. No, it's my turn right now, right? Um, sure is. <laughs> sure is your turn. I mean, something could happen, right? You know, you know how the uh, best way to win is. You just cheat and take all the turns. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Can you roll something awesome? Actually, I'm gonna leave that plus two. Whoa, he's getting risky here. This is a one-third chance that he rolls. He did not roll it, so this remains a blank. Damn it. He took a chance. Uh, one damage to Ray. I tend to not take those chances unless um, they're going to die. I think you have to use a shield. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, actually, I, yeah, I have a shield. Okay. All right, so it is Rick's action. I imagine he's going to take his resource. Yeah, I'm going to take the resource. Okay. I'm kind of happy to take the battleground. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to remember if I have a good um, power, but I think I do. Yeah, so I have uh, force training in the discard file. And so just in case I didn't have a power in hand or didn't draw one, now I guarantee I do for this holocron. And just passing. Okay. All right, so let's refresh. We're going into turn three here. And this game looks like it's gonna be a little longer than some of the games we've had recently. Um, I know I'm playing it a little bit slower uh, because it feels like it's gonna be longer. And I'll take my two resources. And I think I'm gonna start my turn by uh, making what feels like a really strong play to me, which is playing another blaster on Django. So now this dude is just loaded up and uh, ready to respond to anything Rick does with five dice. I mean, five dice is a lot of dice. <laughs> you want to use that ambush action? Resources. What was that? You want to use that ambush action? Oh, yes, the ambush action. Um... Yes, I do. I'm going to use the ambush action to play another holocron right here. There Lovely. we go. That's pretty good. That's a lot of dice we're rolling. <laughs> so let's look at this. Rick is rolling five dice. I'm rolling two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dice. That's double the dice, people. That's, uh, that's pretty solid. We are seeing something interesting, though. I, I showed a video earlier where I had two stormtroopers with um, with a blue character, which happened to be Dooku, 
and we could see that we could move the holocrons around more. If I happen to have two force powers in my hand, that's pretty much it for the holocron. They've done their work. I'm just going to end up discarding them um, to do other things. So they're kind of this interesting card where if they work well enough, they may just use up uh, their value. But I guess if they've used up their value, they've gotten you so much ramp that it's fine. Alright, here comes BB-8's die. The special. BB-8 special is not, like, earth-shattering. It's pretty good. It lets him choose another one of his dice and re-roll it. Which is really nice. Alright. A lot of dice are rolling. Looking for some specials here. Specials would be nice. No, no, just pretty much a hard whiff, uh, especially since we don't have resources. This was uh, about the worst roll we could get, but, you know, this is Star Wars Destiny. We got cards in hand. We should be fine. And hopefully getting such a terrible roll on Kylo means Django's roll is going to be heavenly. So let's see, what's our max damage we could get with Django? We could get plus four, plus seven. And two twos would be 11. So we could feasibly roll 11. That would be the dream roll. And uh, Rick here is going, oh my goodness. If I activate a guy, he gets to activate Django. That's not good. Looks like we're going to activate. <laughs> If it was me here, I probably would have activated Ray for the reason of maybe I get to trigger one with a force before Ray dies that way, and then I can reach You want to activate uh, Django. All right. I'm going to go ahead and respawn by activating Django. Let's see if we can do something sick. Of course you do. Come on. Come on, Django. Be one with a force or whatever it is that you like. I don't even know what Django's into. Um, that's not amazing, but it is four. Is that going to be enough to kill Ray? Three, six, seven. Yeah, that'll be no just enough to kill Ray. So we'll go ahead and do our four range damage as our next action and kill Ray. So this is the power of a kitted up Django, is that he really does get to respond immediately before he could play dodge to just pull off all those dice. It just kills him. All right, the one problem, of course, is he gets... Uh, one with a force to come out now, but I did remove one of his characters, so he's he's in a kind of a rough spot, especially since I still have quite a bit of really cool stuff happening. I have jetpack sitting here um, to remove a melee damage that he might get. I'm going to be able to get a really big reroll here. I could get two resources and then do tons of damage, so I might do that as well. Like I have a lot of options. Let's see what our, our friend Rick here is going to do. How is he going to respond to losing Ray? I didn't hear tears. That's a good start. Not yet, but they're coming. <laughs> yeah, losing a character is so dramatic in this game because it's it's not just that you're halfway dead that's that's bad but it's that you lose so much like two of his dice went away i was up 10 to 5 dice i'm now up uh 10 to 4 dice like he lost a die and that's so critical i guess it must have been 10 to 6 all right so we're going to play uh oh, deflect deflect is so strong Okay, so which die is coming off? The two? Yeah. Okay. And with these shields, yeah. he's now like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah. I think he has to kill Django because Django is just a machine. We'll see what he wants to do. Maybe he has other. Yeah, let's go stuff. after Django. Okay, so Django's shield comes off. Um, Django has activated. I forgot to do that. Okay, so it's uh, it's our move. 
resources would be useful actually um, because if nothing else in addition to being able to trigger uh, this damage I would be able to um, if I reroll the special with these holocrons I'll uh, be able to do that but I kind of like to just reroll all these holocrons I feel like this needs to reroll at some point this needs to reroll Immobilize is probably fine as it is. Um, this is pretty powerful. That's powerful. Uh, so then the question is, do I reroll the resources with them as well? I think I'll reroll that one and leave myself one guaranteed resource. So let's go ahead and make a... I don't really want to discard any of these cards to be honest, but we'll discard this one and reroll. Okay, so we did get a holocron, that's good. One more damage. So that's a fair amount of damage. We should be able to strip off all the shields. The problem is one with the force is so good. <laughs> the fact that he can turn to any side is very strong. Another deflect. Oh no. Rid of Django's die, do one more to Django. Okay. So it's uh, 0.5 damage, rounded up to one. That's a shield. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and trigger this holocron. Bring it back to hand. Throw out our force choke. Uh, I don't think we're going to pay the one to roll that into play. Like I said, this game feels pretty slow. I think I can take my time. Just use the one on him. I mean, I don't have one now. I guess my point is I could have resolved this first. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> oh, what a dramatic roll. Oh, three resources. So annoying. Or the, the three disrupt, I mean. Because now, if I trigger that resource, he just pulls it. Um, so what I'm going to do is trigger this, this shield and just kind of see what happens. Put it on him. He doesn't have a lot of things he can do. Does he really want to shield and do a damage? Maybe. But then again, he might be looking at that Obi-Wan die and going, Really? I'm going to pay a, a, an amazing Obi-Wan die to strip off one resource? Is that worth it? We'll have to see. We'll see what he rerolls. Looks like he's going for a reroll to me. He's going to play the shield on. Okay. Slow roll it a little bit. And are you going to do his ability? I am not. So he's just just trying to gear up here a little bit. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and grab the resource. See if he responds by taking it. It does save two damage, so he might want to. Actually gonna re-roll it with BB-8. Okay. His special. Sure. Okay, you got the same one. And now we'll make it so that's pointless. And we'll resolve uh, two damage to uh, Qui-Gon. Let's get rid of those shields. It's really his main hope here is to just really shield up and get some big rolls. And I still have this card. I'm looking to do some damage. Hoping he gets a melee. Is that your third deflect? That was the second. It was just sitting over here. Oh, when I, the discard. I thought you just discarded a deflect to reroll. I was like, what is happening here? There are deck building rules, and two of a card is one of them. All right. Um, so the question is, is there any point in rerolling the holocron if I'm not going to trigger it now? The only side that's worth it to me is the one spin, and this is already on a side that I kind of like. 
Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just say that I'll pass. I'm not going to take the battleground yet. I'm going to leave myself the opportunity to respond to his melee. Um, there's nothing that I really feel like I have to have as a battleground. So we'll just pass. See what he does. Maybe he'll take the battleground. We're in such a dominating spot that going first isn't really going to matter here. Alright, so he is going to reroll. Hoping he hits a melee so I get another shield. Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was pretty rough. Uh, I don't have anything I can do about that. That only takes away melees, so that's that's a painful one. Um, trying to decide if I re-roll the jetpack. Now, the jetpack re-roll doesn't do that much either. So, again, um, I think I'll pass. Okay. Three to Django. That is sad. Still six more to go. I'll pass again. We'll see if he tries to re-roll that. Or if he doesn't bother. Oh, he's looking through to see if he wants the battleground. That's what he's doing. He's trying to decide at the battlefield. Do I, do I need the battlefield? Or should I go for the re-roll? Because he could get shields. He could get resources. There's a lot of things he could get with Qui-Gon. If he doesn't particularly love these cards, he's going to drop anyway. Um, so there's no real reason to hold on to them. Uh, the real question is if he rolls that melee, he knows I get to pull it and get and I get a shield. So it's a, it's a really interesting spot he's in. One third of the rolls, I get a shield. One third of the rolls, he gets a shield. And then another roll is a resource. So it's, it's this really interesting spot that he's in. We'll see what he decides to do. We figured out if we have to trigger the claim ability. Um... <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, this is a really interesting question, isn't it? It just says, choose a support or upgrade in your discard pile and place it on top of your deck. Um, I think you probably do have to, but the only reason I'm a little bit wondering is because there's another card, I can't remember what it is right now, that says something like, um, you have to, it, it doesn't say a may about playing a card from hand. Um... And, and that one's a little trickier. And it's like, well, um, it's the upgrade. It's the it's the battlefield that says claim, play an upgrade from hand for one less. Do you have to do that? If you have one resource, do you have to play your com link for one right now in a horrible spot? That seems unlikely. How can you uh, regulate that? No one will know if you had it in hand because you're going to draw up and maybe it was a new draw. So I don't know what the answer to that is. We'll say you don't have to. Yeah, I can look it up real quick. Yeah, it may immediately use its claim effect. So I am going to claim the battlefield just to be able to do the first action. Sure. Um, so now I have options. I think now discarding makes a lot more sense because I get to reroll both of these. It's unlikely I'm going to get something great, but if I'm going to discard this holocron anyway, which I am, it's, it's served its use. Um, there's no real reason not to go ahead and reroll these. It's unlikely I'm going to get anything of value. And I did not. Um, and now the question is, do I want to reroll again? And I don't think I do. I think I'm pretty happy with the card in hand. Um, so we'll just move on. All right. So now Rick gets to go first. And again, we have so many dice. <laughs> Six per uh, five per character. In a good spot. Oh yeah, should probably uh, draw up. Oh, can't read All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a hand I can be pretty happy with. 
obviously we're trying to get another blue ability to trigger Sith Holocron with, so if we got one, um, then we're going to be pretty happy about that. And Rick probably knows that we have cards like Block and Comlink in our deck, and we haven't played them yet, and our deck's getting small, so the odds are getting even better that not only do we have the lead, but we probably have blowout cards as well, which is going to be um, even more frustrating for Rick as this uh, continues to its, uh, its, its conclusion here. All right, so Rick has rolled a shield. I'll go ahead and um, I'll roll out Kylo. Kylo's special and a slew of blanks. <laughs> so here's the question. What does he have in hand? <laughs> hmm. He could have a force power that costs three. If he does, this kind of forces his hand where, he, where maybe he feels like he should play it, but then if he does, he doesn't have opportunities to handle my dice, so he's in kind of a weird place. Um, this time around, we're going to save a mobilize to probably just pull off one with the force. Whatever it rolls is going to be good. So it doesn't even have a blank side. It's just all awesomeness. And then we can just completely... Oh, <laughs> never mind. Remove this die to turn a die showing a blank. Uh, it doesn't have a blank. You can't re-roll one with the force. Oh, that's... That's a huge blowout. That's pretty awesome. Mind trick. Ooh. Did I pull into two groups of any size? So I split them? Um, yeah, you split them and I choose a pile to get rid of. Okay. So I'll put that one, that one, and that one together. No, I'll switch like that. And, and like. Um, I'll switch them like this. All right, which one would you like to get rid of? So luckily you put the two die that I'm most afraid of in the <laughs> same pile. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Well, there you go. You're welcome. Um, Thank you. Let's go ahead and... So it's a really tricky spot here because... I want to just react to his roll. Even though he only has one one resource, that might actually be okay, but I'd still rather react. So I'm going to take kind of a null action here, which is a delay, and I'm just going to play take cover, which I want to play anyway. I just put a shield on, on Django and, and let my opponent go. The problem with this strategy, he has quite a few null actions he could take. Or not null actions, but moves he can take before he has to activate Qui-Gon. He can roll one with the Force, he can use BB-8. So, more likely than not, I'm going to have to end up using him. I'm actually going to trigger Qui-Gon with that one. Deal one to Django. Interesting, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Do we just roll Django here? I think we do. He only has one... There's so many things he can't do with only one. He can play one with a force, though, which I don't like. But what are my other options? So, I could pass, which seems like a horrible option. I could re-roll, which isn't so bad. I think I'm, I am going to do that. I'm gonna actually going to just re-roll. I'm going to re-roll all three of these. Okay. That's not so bad. Okay. Oh, that one's so good. <laughs> so good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and trigger our Holocron. Bring that back to hand. We'll put another Force Choke out. And I'm going to go ahead and pay the one to roll it out immediately. So I have to copy this one. And I think it was on a resource. So let's change it back to where it was supposed to be. Boop. 
And we'll roll the new one. And what was this special? Maybe? Ooh, disrupt. That could be useful. All right, I think he's going to have to activate. He's got nothing else to do unless he can pl uh, play something from hand. He could pass and risk me at some point just passing back and then not getting anything out of Qui-Gon. Okay. Um, I'm going to take an action to respond to Qui-Gon's roll with Chinko. Oh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's not terrible. Not great. Um, actually, not, not great at all. Well, we will go ahead and play, though. Um, I'll resolve... Boy, there's so many potential pluses. I don't think I'm going to resolve anything. Instead, I will... I think I'll do a mass reroll here. Yeah, we're going to do a mass reroll. We're done with the Holocron. It's gotten full value now, so that's awesome. Um, let's reroll this one. This one. It might have been smarter just to disrupt there. We'll, we'll see if we regret that. This one, and I'll leave that melee damage, I guess. And we're going to reroll also the shield. That's a little bit scarier. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's not terrible. We're now at um, four range damage and a fifth melee. Didn't roll what we wanted to on the jetpack. Let's we'll see what Rick's got for us. He's got a reroll. Oh, he's rolling one with the force. That's scary. Okay, so that worked out really well for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and resolve one of these resources. And it's Rick's turn. I don't mind if he takes shields. Uh, if he wants to ping that way, it's a really slow way to kill me. I think he's he would rather roll like a three range on him and two two damages. If he just tries to ping me to death, I think my burst will will definitely prevail. So we'll see what he does. Looks like a reroll. I'm, I'm guessing a mass reroll. He does have the choice of just spinning both of those die to the two melee sides. I might have taken that one. Um, but this way does kind of go for the gusto and see what he can pull off. All right, so let's let's go ahead and resolve these um, these big damage dice. Just get it done in case something happens. So that's two, three, four melee, uh, three, four range to Qui Gon. Strips his shields away also, so he has a harder time pinging, even if he had wanted to do that. Four total. Yeah. We finally hit him. We hit Qui-Gon. <laughs> I feel like this has been a slow, torturous game for Rick, which I kind of feel bad about. Qui-Gon is really ex extending the game. It's not really getting him to a scary spot yet. He's not exerting a lot of pressure, but he's able to extend. But one great roll is a lot of damage. Putting these three shields on the Qui Gon. Okay. Just all three of shields. Mm hmm. Okay. And he's probably not going to re roll. Uh, let's go ahead and. Let me go ahead and resolve Kylo's special. I'll grab this one on the end. Wow. Okay. So that's three unblockable damage. Oh, yeah, it's unblockable. <laughs> You can just pull one of these threes over. So we know he's got a lightsaber now. That's some something to know. That's that's kind of scary. I mean, that, that's potentially a lot of damage. Probably. Well, 
don't know how we're gonna. We might just take what we've got here and not do anything else because re-rolling. If I re-roll the jetpack, I really need to re-roll Django as well because although the chances I actually get something useful are pretty slim. Um, so I think what I'll do is just resolve the melee damage on Qui Gon. How much was it? Just one. Probably gonna see a grab of the battleground or maybe a card get played. Oh, okay, the lightsaber's coming out. Dun, dun, dun. This is a smart play because now it lets him draw up one additional card that he wouldn't have been able to play if he would have saved that till next turn. I'll go ahead and uh, resolve this die to get my resource. Not that impressive, but it's something. What I could have done has been slick past the resource, grab the battlefield, but to be honest, the battlefield. It's not that critical right now. There's no. I'm already maxed out on attachments. Going first isn't going to be critical either way here, so it's not as critical as, as it could be in another scenario. And passing for me. Are you taking the battlefield? Oh, I thought you took it. No, no. I, I said it wasn't us. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So Paying attention is key. <laughs> this will go back. Um, are you triggering it at all? No, I don't want any of those. Okay, so we're gonna just move on. Um, I have to decide if I want to discard this. I think I do. Let me let me take a closer look at it again. Um, I probably should have played that instead of the second force choke. But what's done is done, and I'd rather just get the counter cards. Basically, at this point, I, I've got the game in hand. Now, if I can just get the cards to finish the game, I think that would be better than saving upgrades. Get cards like Block, get cards like Power of the Dark Side. These kind of cards will help close it out. Alright, so Rick is up first this time. And we're getting pretty deep in our decks here. 10 to 11. I have a feeling the game will end this turn, but maybe it's going to go one more. A lot of the games I've played so far, when it gets to the scenario and it's just one on two, the game ends almost instantly. But Qui-Gon's really been able to hold out. And if he can continue holding out and put more and more upgrades and dice on him, you know, maybe maybe he can do something, have an amazing comeback here with one amazing roll of the dice. All right, so put some robes on, getting a shield, not pinging. Um, I'm going to... There's nothing really in hand to play, so we'll go ahead and just... Roll Kylo out and hope for good things. I think that's probably going to be a blank. So two blanks. Some resources, some shields. Shields, quite good right now. Um, Jango's getting a little bit... It's not low necessarily, but like the longer this game goes, I think the better shape I'm in. So just shielding him up is probably reasonable. All right. Oh, the smart overwrite. So uh, you can overwrite any upgrade and just pay the difference. So since it's two and two costs, it's zero. So the reason he did that, he wanted to play Jedi robes, not for the card, but just for the one shield. So he basically got a free shield and then was able to play force training. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use two resources and play power of the dark side, which is going to be pretty strong here. Um, I don't have any double blanks, but still, being able to just re-roll these dice will be strong. Ah, oh, car, that, that one's so scary. <laughs> Three disrupt. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, I'll go ahead and re-roll. I'm, I'll re-roll Kylo, I guess. See if we can get this special and do something special. Nope, that's fine. We have two melee showing. That's that's not terrible. Our opponent has no resources, so we don't have to fear a block or anything like that. This 
special. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and no. It's it's an interesting question of do I want to tr do I want to get these two shields from Immobilize to help Django or do I need to just save it to roll off a really good melee attack because he could do some really amazing things. So we're going to save it to roll that off. I'm just going to resolve Kylo's dice. Do two damage to Qui-Gon. Uh, which is also kind of iffy because Qui-Gon rolls so many shields uh, by pulling off his shields now, it just lets him repopulate them. Uh, but it also makes it more likely I can one-shot him with Django if he's not shielded. He now needs 7, and we saw 11 was our max. 7 is pretty doable. Alright, it's going to be Django time. too scary. I'll react by triggering Django's ability. Let's kill that guy. One shot him. Uh, that, <laughs> that is very, very far from a one shot. Uh, I think I will do um, the special though here as my real action to pull off that melee die and take a shield. So that works out pretty well. I'm not killing Qui-Gon, but um, I'm extending this game even more. I'm just going to slowly grind him out. I would have rather bursted him out, but you got to be flexible. can't always get what you want. So many resources. Oh my goodness. That Disrupt 3 doesn't look too good when I can have five resources and nothing I want to play. <laughs> That's another interesting thing about this game is the game drags on longer and longer and all your guys are, are all set. Resources become much less valuable. Um, having two showing is great for blocks and things like that, but having five is pretty much overkill. Here's all BB-8 special. Oh. You got another special. Oh, jeez, the three damage. That's, that's kind of terrifying. Um, and I can't trigger a mobilize because there is no blank on that die. Oh, that's, that's a terrifying situation. Um, I think I just have to convert these into shields so that I don't get crushed. Now, if he does the three damage, at least it's just shields. I realize it is a slow approach, but I think it's the right one. We're gonna then we're gonna re-roll all these dice next turn and hopefully hit something good. <sighs> we're gonna see a mass re-roll here. Oh maybe not. These two. Whoa, okay. So what he must be going for is this spin three to just suddenly turn them all to melee and try to just crush me. Uh, okay, so that's kind of scary. So we'll go ahead and discard. Um, while I like the lightsaber, I'd have to overwrite. I'm pretty happy with what I have. I don't don't really feel like I desperately need damage. We're, we are going to reroll every single die. We have some fine stuff, some resources, a shield, sure. Let's just kill Qui-Gon. Let's just do that. Or, 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 <laughs> continue to roll terrible dice. We can do that instead. All right. We do have the special, which is kind of cool. An unblockable damage. Turn um, any guy. What's really interesting is I could do it to my guy. Um, to another character, though. So it would have to be to Django to turn one of his dice. And I may end up doing that. So we'll save that um, and, you know, do another re-roll and maybe we end up just, you know, using doing it to ourselves just to get that great uh, damage. Ooh. Lots of two resources. That's intriguing. What is he hoping to do? All right. So it's our turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card out of his hand. Um, I'm I'm really curious as to 
why he wanted those resources so bad. And that's why. <laughs> All right. That worked. Wait. Nope. That, that wasn't with Kylo's special. That was just a random discard. Oh, um, oh okay. So he actually lost the card. That's even worse. Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> and that wasn't my plan at all. Um, but since he specifically used his best die to get resources, I figured there's got to be something good back there. Um, so let's let's take a shot at pulling it out. Oh, boy. That's also... <laughs> That's also really good. Oh, no. <laughs> Django. My man. So let's oh. re-roll the uh, force choke die. Uh-huh. That's it. Just the force choke die. Okay. Don't be a blank. Okay, not a blank. And then, these and then get rid of the two Django die. Yeah. That was, that was a brutal one. Uh... And that's uh, got ambush. That was ambushed. Oh, that one, yeah, ambushed. Okay. Hmm. Let's use BB-8. More shields. The special is pretty scary. Unblockable. Um, I don't have that anymore. The immobilize is gone. Uh, hmm. Do I reroll here? Or do I like my cards? I don't think I can keep all of these cards. We're going to ditch a block. That's a really good card against this deck. But I kind of like to just finish him off. And that's a really really good roll. That's four damage. And it means he better use his lightsaber if he wants it. So it, it, it dictates his play, and it's a strong roll. And he only has one card in the left. He's got a max of one re-roll this turn. So that's that's another reason why the random discard, while, while it may not seem quite as strong in this game, because you're drawing up. If you can empty their hand completely, then you know they have no rerolls, they have no tricks. Um, it can be kind of a scary place to be in. Yeah, now I'm in a tough spot because I really want to use the unblockable damage, but you have four damage showing. Yeah. And I'm sitting at seven. So that's enough to kill me. So uh, I don't think it's enough to kill you. You're I'm at seven at, right now. Aren't you at five? Am I missing something? You have five damage. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I've rolled over the three twice. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Boy, that would be amazing. So let's go ahead and use a special. Okay. And putting it on Kylo? Uh, since it's unblockable, <laughs> I'm going to do it on Django. Okay. Uh, so Django only has four more health. So the question becomes, do we turn one of these? And I think I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and turn Qui-Gon's two shields to be uh, blank. And we'll do a damage. Um, is it unblockable? Yep. And I turned this die right here. This one? Yeah, the, the two shields to be blank. Okay. I still three damage showing. So I get a shield. Okay. Um, and... I'll go ahead and just do three damage. All right, we're getting there. Only four more to go. Boy, this Qui-Gon. He doesn't die. <laughs> I can't believe how long he's lived. Get a resource. Okay. Uh, I th 
think at this point I'll take the battleground. Maybe going first we'll do something. Let me see if I want to trigger it. I only have 10 cards left in deck. Um, it makes me a little nervous. Maybe I'll run out. I probably won't. But I think I'll stick a comlink on top. Because the comlink is such a good trick card that just having it in my hand kind of screws with Rick a little bit. Because it's like, well, I know he has a comlink. I saw him getting it back. At any point, he can reroll either of our dice. It's a little bit scary. I'll pass. Okay. So the battlefield goes back. We're going to refresh. Draw back. I'm going to keep my two in hand. I know I get a comlink and then only two more. But it's okay. I was pretty happy with my hand. Like I said, I already, I'm all set up already. Two more resources. We're up to five. That's so many. Okay, we're rolling Kylo. If Kylo gets a really good roll here, we pretty much kill him. Uh, that's a pretty solid roll, actually. The one damage, another damage to screw with his dice, um, take away his resources so he has less tricks he can play. Like, it's a, not a bad uh, roll since Django is the guy who's supposed to kill him anyway. Like, it's a good support roll. So I'm going to replace the force training. This is, this is Rick's MO right here. If you ever play him, no, there's going to be replacements that happen. He loves the replacement. I'm a little bit more averse to it, um, especially until I have three of each. I really like to load up the dice, but Rick likes the efficiency. All right, Rick. Are you rerolling my dice, I'm assuming? Yeah, I'm going to reroll the <laughs> both the force chokes. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You can roll. All right, here we go. Something great. Uh, that's less great. Do I really need eight resources is the question. The answer seems to be no. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and toss and immobilize. To re-roll everything but the one damage. So let's see if we can push some up a whole bunch of damage. Okay. That's that's a lot of damage. It's potentially a lot of damage. The problem with Kylo's special is that could be three. That could be two. It could be zero. He could have two take covers in his hand and uh, something else. Uh, but it's it's probably gonna be at least one. Another overwrite. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> the double used the force. That's scary. Okay, so that's why he, he got rid of the disrupt. Because I was going to use it. Um, boy, and then that would have been stuck in hand. Then if I had hit that. Oh, that that could have been game if I had pulled that one with the force. All right, but we're going to go ahead and trigger Kylo special. And uh, see if we can get lucky here. We're going to get that one. Nope. And that can happen. Ah, so frustrating. Zero. Ah, I'm not looking. <laughs> Shuffle them up. Good. I've heard that's coming because yeah. I was talking to the guy who makes it. And I said, we really need a shuffle. He said, all right, I'm working on it. Rick is down to only one die. Alright, so I have one resource. Here comes BB-8. One resource. Rick could probably use resources, but I don't think it's worth... Actually, I don't even think I can spin him. Um, oh, I could. I could still... No, I can't. It's deal damage to a character. Um, Let's go ahead and... Roll... Six, seven. Hmm. I really want to roll Django. 
Um, I think I'm going to. I'm just going to roll Django. He only has one resource. I'd kind of like to do this now before he gets a bunch of resources and has more options for tricks. This could be a mistake, though. I'm giving up the ability to just do the surprise to be able to, to figure out what I need to be able to re-roll. And it was a pretty terrible roll. I like the pluses, but other than that, not so good. All right, here he comes. <laughs> the mega roll. Move that away. One melee, one gun. Oh, that gun. It's <laughs> so big. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play aim for one and turn Django's die to be his double range. So the reason here is now I'm threatening two, four, six, and that will be game. So he has to have a response to that or he just loses. And he does. Use the force. Turn to his blank side. Yep. And um, I have a response to play my use the force, and I'll switch it back. So now he has no resources, so I think he's just dead. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, so it's, it's over because he has nothing he can do to impact these dice. I get to resolve two, four, six. And that will kill Qui-Gon Jinn. Boy, that guy was hard to kill. Um, and thanks so much for the game, Rick. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time on Tiny Grimes Games.